Good evening. I'm Paul Mueller for Action 10 News. These days, it seems like whatever you need, there's an app for that. And now, the first ever doggy dating app. That's right. It allows you to make play dates for your four-legged friends. And the man behind this app tells me it has the potential to be a game changer. The howl in itself should be able to get this five-year-old basset hound a date. But now, new technology is giving dogs like him potential playmates. I think that's interesting. And we found Jordan Campos and Woodson at Cole Park, sniffing around for the first time. The two live a short dog walk away, so we wondered, would they even need the app? Curious to find out what, what that would be or entail. Well, not so curious to find out what it entails, Alec Robbins and his four-year-old dog, Kaya. I need to do a dog play date, I would just go to the dog park. May not be his thing, but not every pooch or person is the same. It's good for scheduling for people that are really busy. And just like human dating apps, you can swipe left, swipe right. Find out more about local dogs where you live. Name, age, breed, sex, location, and interest. It's really the first time that a generation has adopted dogs in mass. And that's exactly why the man behind the app, Colby Weintraub, created the dog play date service. Where did the idea come from? Ten of my really close friends had adopted dogs during the pandemic. So I wanted to figure out a fun, easy way for Gen Z, you know, my generation and millennials, to integrate their dog into the new connections that they make going forward. Would you say that, you know, a possible benefit is, hey, there's a friendship, there might be a date between the people? What happens after the introduction and, and after the messages on the app, that's, that's entirely up to, to the two individuals and, and of course, and up to their dogs. So if a dog lover wants a play date with another dog lover, dog dads like Campos are all pawed. Using your, your own dog, you know, to be able to meet new people. Now, this may be the first doggy dating app, but at the same time, let's just say it's certainly raising some eyebrows because of its name. The name, Doggy Style. Yes, Woodson, you heard right. The name of the app is Doggy Style. People have kind of identified me, you know, you're the guy that created Doggy Style. So it's, uh, it's definitely sticks in people's heads and that's exactly what I wanted. Would you agree that the pros outweigh the cons with that name? So many more people have come up to me and said that they love the name than people have come up to me and said they hate the name. And when it comes to the dog dads over at Cole Park? <laughs> not a great name. Why not? Uh, a little crude. I mean, there's an idea in my head and an image, I'm um, just, hmm, okay. So whatever image you may conjure up, Colby says, there's just nothing like your four-legged friend. This is something that you look at and you're smiling because you're looking at adorable dogs. Now, if you're interested in the app, you can always go to the iTunes store or Google Play to get it. Now, the question, what happens if something goes wrong during the doggy date? Well, the answer, you need to read the fine print when signing up you will be the one held responsible. In Corpus Christi, I'm Paul Mueller, Action 10 News.